Hello and thank you. Um, today I would like to show you a demo of infrastructure as code using Ansible and GitLab. So let's jump into this. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. What I've got here is an Ansible project or a project within GitLab that is uh, called Ansible Demo. Um, what I've got in this repository is uh, essentially a clone from uh, a Net DevOps day that Red Hat does or a, a training course for Ansible network automation. Um, I borrowed it from their GitHub site um, and I just cloned down their repo. Um, I added very few things into this um, because this is really designed to be an entire day's class. Um, of learning of how to use Ansible and how to interact with network devices. Um, but I want to show off kind of the power of GitLab and what you can do with uh, CI and this and the Ansible or in the GitLab runners uh, to execute your uh, your code uh, via Ansible. Now, one thing to point out here is that GitLab is, you know, tool agnostic. It doesn't have to be Ansible. Um, but that's a pretty popular language that people are using for infrastructure as code. So I decided to create a demo around that. I've also got a Terraform demo, but we'll save that for another time. Um, so if I just look down through the project here, um, I can see a number of different tasks and things that, uh, um, that Ansible put together, uh, different, uh, different workshops and exercises and things like that. That's all part of the repo here that I got. Um, but I'm going to show you one kind of very specific thing, um, which is very simple. Uh, we're using the Ansible uh, networking class uh, and going to the workshop uh, that shows specifically uh, their their two router demo. Um, I've already uh, I've already set up the environment. I've actually got the two uh, the two routers set up. Um, and I've SSH'd into them just for good measure, just to make sure that they're working. Um, but I've got those sitting here, um, and I can see I've got some active interfaces um, and some SNMP commands already set. Uh, so that's, that's squared away, that's one. Um, another router here, and, uh, and a couple other SNMP community strings already preset. So what I'm gonna show you today is uh, using the power of GitLab and the runners to execute playbooks. So I've got a particular playbook here. Um, it's got one file. Um, and if I open up this playbook, if you're familiar with Ansible, very simple here. I just call out what my hosts are. Um, and uh, I've got four tasks. Uh, first task is just gathering iOS facts. Um, it prints out a... Uh, iOS version for the routers that are in uh, the this host file prints out the serial number and then uh, does some configuration as well. So it does the iOS uses the iOS config module to send two commands, uh, the SNMP uh, set the SNMP string for read only and read write. Um, so this is what's existing. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this and then I'm going to execute it. Um, all without uh, without installing anything on my laptop or any dependencies. I'm going to use uh, this entirely run out of GitLab.com uh, uh, hosted service. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to follow good Git flow or GitLab flow. Um, and I'm going to go to my issue board here and see if I've got an issue. So this would be a typical workflow we would use um, for Ansible. I've noticed I've got an open issue here to change my SNMP strings on the router. Um, I can click into this to take a look at it. I can drag it over to the to-do column to add a label, um, or I can drag it over again, change the label to maybe the doing uh, column here, uh, tag here. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna open up this issue and say that, uh, okay, the issue title here is change SNMP strings on router. Um, they need to rotate. Uh, the SNMP strings every month per the security policy. Well, that's great, okay. Um, well, what is our policy? Well, part of the issue template here 
conveniently links the security policy and a code sample for me. So I'm, let's, I'm gonna click on the security policy here. It's gonna drop me into the wiki section of my project. So this project, this Ansible demo project, it's got a dedicated wiki um, that I'm using to lay out what our security policies are. Um, so our security policies are, they must be rotated monthly and they must use different strings for read only and read write. Okay, so now I know what that looks like. I'm gonna go back to my, uh, my issue here. Um, I'm going to see, okay, well I've got a code sample here. So I'm gonna click on that. That's gonna jump me into the snippet section. This is a space where I can add configuration that will help me understand what I need to do for this particular task. So example code. Um, I can see I've got this, uh, this SNMP iOS config, which we looked at already. Um, and uh, I've got public and private here. So this is just a nice little example. I can copy this to my clipboard or, um, or reference it through a URL um, or download it. So let's go back to our issue here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take ownership of this issue here. Click on that. Um, so now I'm assigned this issue. It's in the doing column. So now I've just made work visible. Everybody knows that I'm working on it um, on this particular issue. Can make a comment here if I needed uh, additional information. I can call out coworkers um, or groups um, by just tagging them simply in this issue. Um, but the next thing I'm going to do now that I've claimed the issue, I'm going to create a merge request. So a merge request or GitHub sometimes calls it a pull request. This is the uh, this is the fix. So I'm just going to click on that quickly. Um, I'm going to see it automatically creates my merge request. It puts a work in progress flag on it. Um, so everybody knows that I'm working on this and it's not quite done yet. So um, we've got change SNMP strings on the router. Um, it's created a, a separate branch for me to work in. Um, outside of master and pre-set up the merge to say, okay, my changes are gonna merge back into master. Um, so this is good. Um, now I just need to uh, make these changes. Now I could run this locally um, by doing a git fetch and checking out the branch and downloading the files and making the changes and re-uploading. But I'm actually going to just take a shortcut here since I know it's a quick change. I still wanna pop, uh, follow all the good flow, but I'm just gonna use the web IDE here, uh, the built-in editor. So when I do that, it opens up uh, kind of a, a pretty rich feature set uh, editor here um, that allows me to stage and, and commit my code. So I'm gonna go into the uh, CICD demo section. I'm gonna go to that Ansible playbook that I saw, um, and I know that I need to edit the configure SNMP so I'm gonna set this to um, new SNMP um, demo one. And I'm gonna set my read write to something different per my security policy. So I'm gonna do, make this the fun SNMP RW string. Okay, so now I've got a new string here. I'm gonna commit this, uh, commit this change. It's gonna show me the deltas that I've made in my playbook. So now I know that this is what's changed. Obviously, Git tracks all my changes um, and on a line level. So I'm going to add a commit message here. Update SNMP playbook with new values. I'm gonna commit that to my working branch here and stage and commit and go back to my code here. I'm gonna go back to my merge request that I was working on, take a look at it here. And some magic is already happening here. Um, so now I've got this uh, resolve uh, change SNMP um, I can scroll down here, I can see that I can make any additional comments, I can see the commit that I made, I can see the changes that are made across multiple commits. So I know what's going on, but the magic here is in this pipeline. And this pipeline is starting to run and actually execute that Ansible code on my behalf. So if I click into this, I can start to see what's going on. Um, so the first thing it's doing is going through kind of a setup phase or a task to, to provision those, uh, 
those uh, specific uh, router instances. And this is a, a much bigger playbook um, that's part of the uh, the overall infrastructure here. But what this is really doing is just setting up uh, setting up my environment for execution and or testing. While this is running, I'm going to look at the file that actually generated this. So let me jump back into my repository here. So one of the extremely powerful things about GitLab is that everything is done in a, in a single YAML file, or at least the uh, CI portion is. Um, and so I can see here that all the magic here that's going on is done in 48 lines of, of, of YAML text code. Um, so, so something very simple, um, easy to read, easy to understand. So it starts with a base image. Um, and I've just picked a base image off of Docker Hub uh, that's got uh, that's got Ansible pre-installed with you know on Ubuntu. Um, so now I know that I've got all my prereqs pre-installed here just using this base image. I don't have to do anything more. I've defined three stages, which we sort of uh, saw in the pipeline uh, quickly, uh, but let's go through what those look like. So I've got a deploy stage, a demo stage, and a destroy stage. So deploy is setting up the environment. Demo is that running just that single CI file. And then destroy is to actually take this environment down when I'm done. So I, I don't uh, incur any more cloud costs. So if I look at what the setup does, the setup just does, um, it's part of the stage here. I can see it runs uh, four commands. Runs Ansible version, just so I have that in my log file. Install some prerequisites, and then per executes the provision lab.yaml file, which uh, tells it which, which region to go into and how many instances that I want of it. The run script, which is in the demo stage, this uh, relies on the setup, um, but then does you know, four of its own commands, runs Ansible version again, installs those, those dependencies that I need, and then executes a different playbook, which is actually the one that we edited. So we edited the ci.yaml file here. Um, so it executes just that single file. And then I've got a final stage here called destroy, which is going to tear down the lab using Ansible. Um, and I've got that set as a manual action. We'll see that in a second. Let me jump back over to the merge request here, or excuse me, the, uh, the pipeline. And we'll see that my pipeline has passed. That's great. And I've got my AWS setup that's done, and I've got my run script stage here. So if I scroll back up to the top, I can see that the, the runner here, which is the execution engine of GitLab, um, started with a base image of Ansible started up that uh, that container, um, downloaded the code that I changed, so it took all those changes, and starts to execute those four commands. So it runs an Ansible version, installs the dependencies, executes my playbook, and I can see the output from the playbook here. So the first task was gather facts, the second was to print the version, the third was to print the serial number, and the fourth was to change the, uh, the, the SNMP strings, and I get the output from Ansible here, et cetera. So this is now done. I can check, I can flip back over to my, my routers here and see if these have changed. Oh, got a timeout here, so let's go back in. And it looks like my SNMP strings have been updated and the iOS config uh, uh, module actually doesn't delete the old one. So that might be a new enhancement that we're gonna need to add, but I've got the new ones here. Another timeout, go back in. And we've got the same thing over here. So it executed on both hosts successfully. You can see that in the actual. And now what I can do is go back to my merge request. I've got all my green check marks here. I'm gonna say that my work in progress is now done. 
So I'm able to merge this. I'm going to go ahead and delete my source branch because I don't need an, uh, a working branch anymore. Going to hit merge. And now it'll kick off another pipeline here to re-execute those, those changes in master. Can limit that if I want. And once that's done, this, this is now in a merge state. So my merge request is closed. And my issue is now closed. So it automatically closed my issue and my merge request. And I'm done. Hope this was helpful. Um, there's a lot of other things in GitLab around managing projects and issues and uh, using Kanban boards and a lot of great workflow stuff. Um, but uh, here's a small feature that I hope you enjoyed, able to give you a sense of what you can do with, with GitLab and executing your infrastructure as code uh, or net DevOps uh, uh, goals. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording.